I'm Max Cooper and I'm going to be showing you my uh, work with the 4D system from Amsterdam. Some guys in Holland, based in Amsterdam, they've built this special um, amazing rig which consists of 16 poles on a 16 by 16 meter space that the audience stands within and then the poles have got speakers, several speakers within so you've got a whole sort of grid, layered grid, three-dimensional grid of speakers. And then they've built a whole custom software which allows you to spatially design sounds within tracks and whole tracks to turn each piece of music into a fully three-dimensional interactive piece. A normal club experience is, you know, it's loud and it's dark and you've got that sort of the, the bass punching you, but essentially most of the time it's even mono, unless you're sort of in the sweet spot in the middle of the room with the two speakers, you know, you, you don't really hear the stereo side of things. It's more you just hear, you know, the, you hear the, the melody and the you know the rhythm and the you know the timbre of the of the sound, but you don't really get any sort of special cues. So what the 4D system is is really taking that sort of spatial experience into a club and to the extreme. When you walk, when you're stood in in the club with the 4D system, sounds will come, you know, from, they'll come flying past you and there'll be a sound. You'll walk around and you'll find. Like, I don't know, some, you know, the sound, like a, a little, someone playing a guitar riff or something and it's down by your foot. And you'll be like, that's weird, there's a sound down there. And as you explore the space, you find different sounds, you know, in different places. And then also as, as, the, as the tracks play, the, the sounds can move around and change shape, uh, explode or implode. So it's a full sort of, fully interactive, three-dimensional environment of sound. Because of the way the 4D rig's set up, the speakers are non-directional. Normal speakers are concave. So the sound is all directed towards the middle. And that, in a club, that's what gives it you know, that directional punch. Whereas the, the speakers of the, the 4D rig are all convex. So they're, they're like this middle bit here, but the whole, the whole speaker's like that. So the sound comes out at all angles. It's non-directional. So there's lots of these speakers that are sending the sound out at all angles. And then a lot of software, which is calculating how the sound needs to be sent to all these 70 odd speakers to make it appear you know, that, that sounds can come from anywhere within or outside the space. The way they've set it up in Ableton is there's 24 voices and each voice um, can do a different uh, spatial program within, within the physical space. To the right is all audio channels and to the left we've got the 24 voices of the um, 4D system. The clever thing about the way they've set up their, their system is that you can actually trigger the 4D settings, so this, you can trigger the spatial settings with the clips in Ableton. You can actually write in the clip in Ableton the coordinates, so you've got an X and a Y and a Z, so it's just a simple, you know, three, the three dimensions of space. You can define the coordinates of the kick drum or whatever sound it is you want. You can type, you write the coordinates into the clip, and then when you trigger the clip, it sends that information to the, the 4D engine, which then calculates you know, how to send that sound to the physical space. For each of the 24 channels, you can set up things like the shape of the sound, you know, how, how big is it? You know, you can have a sound that's a point, you know, a point in space, and, or you can have something that's, you know, a big box. And the big, obviously, the bigger you make it in space, the louder it is, which is an interesting thing about working with the system. It becomes, if you want to make something louder, you don't necessarily push it up in the mix. You can actually make it physically bigger or physically smaller or a different shape, you know, it can be flat. If you want it to come from one side of the room, you can make it a flat panel that sits against the wall. Um, or if you want it to sort of fill the space, being loudest in the middle, maybe you'll make a, you know, like a, a cube that sits in the middle of the room. That's, there's that whole different way of working with the sounds and you can actually do a lot of that from within uh, Ableton using their custom, their, their Max patch. So this is the 16 by 16 meter space with the 16 poles with speakers inside. So the first track, it's called Woven Ancestry and it's sort of different strings from different, you know, like ancient types of strings from around the world that are all plucked in this sort of big mesh of yeah, interwoven pieces. I basically have the sounds raining from the sky. Every number here there's number 10 in the middle, corresponds to the numbers of the 24 voices in Ableton. And then at the bottom, you've got number 16, which I think that's the bass as far as I remember. 
uh, which is something which is just like a more of a yeah, it's like a flat static panel in the ground because the subs of the system are actually in the floor. So this one was pretty simple. It's just like well, it doesn't look that simple, but it was all static sounds. There's lots of boxes around the space because this this has a lot of different drum sounds in it. And I just wanted to make something which was totally based on how people explored the space. There's lots of different percussive sounds which all interact and sort of come together to form the whole sort of rhythmical experience of the track. But they're all in different parts of the room, different, you know, some are down on the ground and some are high up. And as people walk through the space, they would find different, you know, because of elements. You can see red along the ground and on one wall and on green on the roof. So that's essentially just making sounds, you know, some one sound would be the whole floor and one sound would be the whole roof. You've also got these crazy sounds flying around inside, which is all these little drum sounds and glitches, and it, it turned into this really complex, fast-moving, disorientating piece. It worked nicely, but then obviously I would have the bass, and I think one of the snare drums was, was static, and you know, certain things were static to ground it, and then you'd have all this sort of hectic things flying around really fast. It's sort of halfway between a gallery experience and a club experience, because as I said, I did, I did make my, my set you know, it, it, is, it does have a lot of house tunes and techno tunes and sort of broken, sort of glitchy stuff that is the same sort of stuff that I play in clubs. And people were dancing and people, you know, so it is, it is still club compatible to some extent. But yeah, it's a lot more, it's certainly halfway between, at least halfway between a sort of museum experience and a, and a club experience. I'm Max Cooper and you're watching DJ Tech Tools.